All right, guys. So I got some tooling in. It's a step bigger than uh, what I'm usually using, but I also bought five more of these, so I don't got to keep changing stuff around all the time. This isn't high quality stuff, but it's a lot better than what I had. And I was changing back and forth and back and forth. The only thing I don't have now is a boring bar that fits these 250 series quick change. But the good thing is, is I'm getting better every time, so. You know, it's, a, it's amazing the when you really want to do something in life, man, if you just want to do it and you are committed to it, you can do it, period. No ifs, ands, or buts. So these guys are short, but... There's one. Yeah, these... Um, tips and that are a little bit bigger than my I'm really having to uh, I'm struggling with names of things and I do that even in my trade so like this TNMG uh, these are the numbers 33 331 is the size of these um, heads so, like, I don't really know. When I bought this case, and like I said, these are all shitters, you know, basically. Um, it doesn't say what they are. Nine piece, five ace, G10 RSO H16, I think, maybe then. 310R maybe, maybe that's it, maybe it's a 310, but I'm, like I said, I'm just learning, these are 431s, maybe that's the, pro, the style, these are 331s, 16, but, so like, uh, this style, Here's a bigger version of this. This is just a bigger version of this. So, I can't use this here. Or can I? No, I can't. I can't. Where are these? These are, of course, these are Allen head, and uh, these are Torx head. So, you know, everything's different. Everything's different, different, different. But sooner or later, man, it's just like my, you know, and I, I sound like a broken record, but. When I got out of prison, I didn't have anything. I had a pair of sweatpants, $700 from being a barber and saving my fucking, uh, what did I make, 52 cents an hour, I think I was making in there at my highest pay. <laughs> no retirement, nothing. Um, no bennies. And I was able to save, you know, I lived like a king in there. I had TVs, I had everything, commissary canteen whatever you want to call it but i had everything plus i talked to the whole prison you know i was like the middle in between guy that's, that's what it is i got three of these three different holders so so now if i want to switch this to get onto the other side then i got to go like this but for the most part, I'm just going to set these all up like this. Then I got to, I might as well go ahead and I got to weld this journal up because I messed it up. 
because that's what happens when you're a newbie. You get sent for the board stretcher and the sky hook. Um, anybody in the trades has been through the rigmarole and the camaraderie. Here's the last one. We'll put this on here. And then I gotta make, I gotta start making a nice place for these now too. And then I gotta fix my threading bar. I got the bar, but it just, I need to make two bushings to accept the bar. And then I can start learning how to thread, but that's a whole nother challenge. I love this stuff, it's so awesome. It's amazing the amount of time it takes to set these projects up for the milling process. It's like 80% of it. Whereas like carpentry, the setup is like 20% most of the time, you know? But I like it. it, it it's learning me to be more efficient and more... Uh, I was always pretty efficient. I could have been better always with my trade and in building, but when you got all your tools lined up and ready to go and you know where everything's at, man, that's 80% of the battle, no matter what you're doing. All right, so here's our three new tool heads all set up. So let me weld this, uh, a journal here which is not the right thing to do but when you mess up it was getting good to me you know when you're sitting there turning late at night next thing you know you're turning things you shouldn't be turning so um you know, i'm gonna do this on the floor because i got a mess everywhere but i cleaned this up with some denatured alcohol and what i did was i cleaned this up well, in the process, and I didn't even clean it up all the way. But I thought this was just for a seal, but it's not. This is for a bearing. This bearing, to be precise. You see that little needle bearing? This goes through there, and that's what stabilized the end of that. Both of these were messed up. So now, like a dummy... I set it back down. I just cleaned this with some denatured alcohol. Um, I had some acetone, but it's all gone. I, I burned it all up making re-rock. Just kidding. Okay, so... I wonder... I'm going to try to set up a lens. I'm gonna try to set up a lens so you guys can see this whole welding process. Let me see what I can do. All right, guys, I'm gonna change the lens on here. I don't know how this is going to work. Grease on there. Yeah, almost get a mannequin head. Alright, we're going to try this out. I just tape this on there quick till I can come up with a better solution. Um, but I'm gonna start doing this every time I cut 
with the um, plasma or anything. That way you can get a better view. I got a couple of these laying around. It's just a matter of figuring out a way to get this mounted. So, all right. Well, let's go take this over to the lathe and I'll set it up. All right, I got this chucked up in the lathe. Now we just gotta see. Eventually I'm gonna get that uh, phase converter set up outside. I try to go off of with this.
think we got it. So, next, we're going to get my tooling correct. And that is something different altogether. So, what are we going to use for that? I just need a piece of stock. Maybe I'll cut a new piece. So we're set back up here guys and uh, I mic the other side and we got 42 and a half thousandths to come off of this journal to be correct so let's get it. And it's shaking like a sieve. Extend that tool out a little bit. 0 0.0225. So I'll be right back. All right, so we are 
3.3125. So, um, 3.125 is 5 sixteenths. So, 1 and 5 sixteenths is what this needs to be. So, we are 3.1. good so that turned out really nice though besides this little spot there but a couple little spots actually we'll just check it out all right guys so i decided fuck it i'm taking the front pinion out something just don't feel right to me it's way too loose go through all this trouble get it apart and then have to take it right back apart i'm not doing it so fuck see this is why i don't like getting in this stuff because i'd rather do it all the way or not at all unfortunately i don't really have the money to be doing this shit right now so i'm gonna have to take away from something else to do this now first thing i'm noticing on this pos is uh there's a set of shims in there on the back side of this, which is really kind of pissing me off because the shim should be on the back side of the race. So we're gonna pop this out and see what the fuck. Here she goes. So one shim. I see I'm finding I fucking hate dropping all this shit. I'm finding they used a lot of this sealant on this shit when they put it in. Um, here's a shim. But this shim was here. And this was like this. Oh, there's a shim on... Oh, no, that's the race still. Why the fuck do they got a shim on the opposite side of the race? Or on the opposite side of the fucking... Yeah, boy, oh boy. Fucking clowns. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, the shim should go in right now and then the race. Right? Am I wrong? Not always. Sometimes. Made in USA. Timken. Somebody put some good bearings in here, but look at these guys. See the pitting at all? Yeah. It's all pitted. Pitted. So these bearings were shot. So there was some shims there. One tiny shim on the right side of where it's supposed to be. Oh, there's more shims in there. So here's all the shims. And look at there, what's that? Some kind of, well, that might have been from me trying to knock it out. So there's a couple shims in there on the correct side. I guess I just don't I've never seen uh, where they shim it from the other side. I don't see what the advantage to that is. This one's burnt and doesn't look too bad as far as this inner race goes. Um, 
But, you know, this thing had a bunch of watery shit in it. So, this is the lowest uh, spot is where this bearing sits. And it's not too bad. You can see it's checked up, though. But ay, 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 ay. So, take these in and get a... I'm going to press this guy off. So, I'm going to have to reshim it. Another big reason was, look at this thing. I don't know what the hell happened in here, but something. So we'll pop that off. And we'll see what the heck. So stay tuned. Right, More guys, parts. I'm getting better by the second. So here's our shaft that we fixed. And by we, I mean I. So this is identical twin now to this new one that I ordered. So... There's mine, there's the new old one. Now, is this brittle now? I can't quite say, but we're gonna find out, you know? But this is an outer shaft, so it is accessible. I can get this. So, now I guess, let me go grab my uh, doohickey thingamabob. We'll try it out in the axle housing, the four wheel drive hub assembly. The heck did I do with that now? This is, most of my time is spent walking in circles. I don't know if uh, I show you all that. Probably shouldn't. But so I went to Napa Auto to try to find all the parts for this. Our stores are shit nowadays. I went in there the other day and they were great. I said, you guys are going to be my saviors. They're like, well, I don't know. We'll try, blah, blah, blah. And they did. They found the part. I mean, granted, I helped them on my phone. I found it kind of and then we were able to get it. But I go in there today and they're all like, ooh, here's the, you know, I wanted to get Timken bearings for the front axle. So the guy's like, here's a, here's a bearing. No fucking race. Like, I'm going to put the old race in? Oh, come on, guys. So anyways, let's just do The quality of the U.S. of A is down fucking hill. So, check this baby out. No way go room. She's beautiful, guys. I just gotta put my seal in there. Snap ring goes on there. Oh. I gotta put this U-joint in, though. If I can get this back out of here. That means a, a muy bueno on the fit. Okay, so now we're gonna put a U-joint in. I hate U-joints, really, I do. Um, and this fucking thing, this is a real piece of shit. One of these days when I get rich, I'm gonna get a fireball tools, uh, fireball tools, dude. What's it called? Bench vice. I just watched that thing the other night. So, I'm gonna go like this. I didn't put a spicer in the other side. But, I guess that's just too bad. So, we're gonna pull these caps off. Pop, 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 pop. We're gonna press one of these bad boys in here. Holy shit. Dude. 
Why is that so loose in there? That side's okay. Holy fuck, mate. We got some jiggery going on. Some pokery jiggery. Um, fuck. I might have to do some work on this. Fuck, I'm gonna end up having a... Why is that so messed up? It looks like somebody ground the shit out of this. Man. That ain't no good. Looks like I'm going to be buying... I didn't realize that was so fucking sloppy. I've never seen them that sloppy before. I'm going to weld this and then take this dimension out and we'll see what's up. 